Hey everybody, Shane Presley, Rock Paper Podcast. Thank you so much for checking in with a brand new episode. Today's features the return of Outrun the Fall. Had a great time catching up with some buddies, talking about some of their brand new tunes, including uh, their single, The Rattler, now available. And you're going to hear uh, an ex- preview of it right here today on t- on the show and i got a big old party happening saturday night and uh you should grab tickets right now and join us at uh, diamond music hall in st peter's missouri on saturday july 15th uh, to uh in- secure your ticket and your uh free barbecue that comes with the show so come on out and join us there and uh also, want to remind you, as always, Rock Paper Podcast is brought to you by Friendship Brewing Company in Wentzville, Missouri, serving up all your craft beer needs. Over 25 rotating taps out there. Uh, surely got a delicious beverage just right for you, and um, all kinds of delicious food. you got your burgers and nachos and flatbread pizzas and pretzels and all kinds of tasty eats. And you can get some great live music happening out there. Uh, every Thursday they do Singo Bingo Night. And then on your uh, kicking off your weekend, Friday night, July 14th, James Bertles at the Winsville location. Mickey Scott on Saturday the 15th. And spend your Sunday afternoon 1 to 4 out at uh, Friendship Brewing on the 16th with Josh Littig. Uh, you got, uh, uh, also, if you haven't been uh, following along, they've got the brand new Flint Hill location, and they've been um, doing some music out there on the weekends, a little soft opening weekends before the uh, official grand opening on July 29th. Mark your calendars, join us for a big old party, and uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun, uh, but uh this weekend on July 15th, you can catch Buddy out there, Buddy and Winsel uh, at uh, Flint Hill location. Um, you got to come and check out the Fly High Kitchen. You got some, uh, it's a new partnership with Duke's Barbecue guys, uh, the crew over there. They put together a brand new menu and it's awesome and all kinds of uh, delicious food exclusively to the Flint Hill location. Um They got a really nice stage up on top of the bar. It's a great space to come hang out. Big old patio over there, too. If you want to sit outside, uh, plenty of room inside, all your favorite drinks. And, uh, of course, uh, you can see right there where it's brewed. They've got the – it's all open concept. Uh, You can see right there where the brewing tanks are. And it's a very cool space. So come check out Flint Hill, um, the new Flint Hill location from – friendship brewing company again you can find all the info friendshipbrewingcompany.com be sure to follow along on facebook and instagram for more info uh there we can at the website you can find their full beer menu concert calendar and food menu uh friendshipbrewingcompany.com all right that is it for me everybody if you need me you can always find me at rockpaperpodcast.com hit me up on the socials email me at rockpaperpodcast at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. And with that out of the way, sit back, relax, and enjoy a brand new episode with Outrun the Fall. Um, the podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. It's on, it's on the internet. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's also like my mom. <laughs> uh, it makes it sound more confusing, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds like this. Rock Paper Podcast. This is beat paper, paper covers rock. Rock beats is the shame, covers non-stop, never know what. New kind of guests that he's got coming at you. Live and direct on the spot, could be rock, folk, country, or hip-hop, jazz. All kind of folks that he has, could be an artist or a comedian to make you laugh on the Rock Paper Podcast. Double deck of fudge round, rolling round town. Shane coming at you live and direct from ground zero. He's your hero, he's your bestie. Rock paper podcast with Shane Presley. Rock paper podcast.
Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast, coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri, hanging out today with returning guest, Out Run the Fall. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Thanks, man. Thank you. I think, man, we, uh, I don't even remember how many times, we've we've done a few of these now. Yeah. We're up to like four or five. This one will be the best one. Yeah. I mean, we, we got... We don't have not gonna take much to top the last couple. Hey, so. I you need to stop. Uh, <laughs> uh start. what yeah, what? Uh we what it was September we hung out last, uh did one of these. Yeah, yeah talking almost a year about Wait, uh, a big show. <laughs> you get it? And you get the joke? Did you get it? <laughs> Sorry, Shane. And uh so it's been way too long and I'm excited to be back here. Hanging with my buds and talking about some brand new <clears throat> OnlyFans. OnlyFans pages. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally got the exclusive. Um, but we got to implied exclusivity. Yeah. We new song a, drops tonight. New, yep, song. new song drops tonight. I mean, this, tonight. You're, you're listening to the podcast after tonight. Yeah. Right. So it will have already dropped. You so didn't it, travel through time. If yep. you'd have been paying attention, you'd have known it dropped on Friday, June, June 30th. 30th. At midnight. At midnight, depending on your time zone in the country. You're, if you're in Australia, New Zealand. You're probably jamming it already, and you're like, man, this song heard sucks. It. It heard rocks. This is terrible. This is literal garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's called The Rattler. This guy kind of sounds like the singer of Hollow Point Heroes, but worse. <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> That's real common I've read at some point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did you type it? Uh, no. no. It was some dude in Brazil. Some, <laughs> yeah. Got to be Brazil. I was talking about that the other day to a friend, like, because uh, he brought up that my show's, you know, I, I, I shared mm-hmm. that uh, my show is ch- charting in Russia. Yeah. Somehow. I don't, I don't think that's even real, but uh, it made me laugh. So I shared it. And I was talking about how, like, you guys always get the messages, like, come to Brazil and stuff, like, yeah, man, I've like translated messages like they get sent in Portuguese and like I have to translate it. And like it's kind of cool when I do that and it's like, dude, your music saved my life, you know, and this is some kid, man. He I mean, don't know. You know, he don't know that we're just regular dudes. I mean, either like if there's any bit of sincerity in that, you know, sentiment, like it's cool that, you know, like that for sure, like that you're making an impact to anybody around the country or the world. But I just think it's, you know, just – uh, no, I don't know. That's really practical for us to do a Brazilian tour. But the logistics would be a nightmare. Right. Yeah, you're right. But it would be fun though. But I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Did, I mean, did you ever see the Anvil documentary that like Netflix did about that oh, yeah. that metal band Anvil? And like, they were like huge. They were supposed to be like the next Metallica, and just like bad management decisions and they zig where they should have zagged and like they, they fell out dudes doing catering jobs and playing these like clubs like five people and you know fast forward like some spoiler alert this has been out hella though <laughs> like they actually like make it to japan where they were like enormous at one time and they walk out to like a sold out arena that like showed up to see them and like these dudes were like 
just defeated at one point, huh. breaking up the band after years of trying to make it back to their former glory, you know, like they had in the eighties. And they even like reunited with this like kick-ass producer that did their best albums and stuff. And like, they just, they couldn't connect it, man. And then like, they somehow made it to that other country and like, they were as huge as like, they were, I guess, supposed to be there. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of cool. So you're saying when we go to I'm, Brazil, I'm saying, I'm saying if we can get there, if we can overcome the, the logistical if you build obstacles, it, the people, if you build it, they will come. I yeah, heard basically, that somewhere. basically. So world tour coming next year. <laughs> yeah, Josh, tell them about the world tour. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, well, let's talk about this tune, man. This is uh, I don't really know how to categorize it. All three of these new ones that we did this last run with Jack down and Tone Sick Tones. Down. Those songs came out a little bit different. I mean, compared to like some of the previous releases. So All right. So well, let's uh, like different in a good way. I I, I just realized like that sounded bad. Uh, different in a good way. I think. I mean, one we even wrote like completely different. Like the whole method of writing we did almost backwards. Oh, I love the way everything sounds like when we leave. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it it it's it's. What, what are the, what's the old saying? Like you can't just ke- you can't keep making the same album over and over again. So the fact that it, it sh- the music shifted a little bit was awesome. Yeah, dude, I like it. And like like this this one's probably the of the three mm-hmm. like the more straight rocker I think than you know some of the other songs. Well, let's uh let's jam it right now. Okay, this is called the Rattler. There it is. You listen to it on Rock Paper Podcast. The Texas Rattlesnake. OTF 
Uh, it's hard to look at you with that. Oh, hat. I didn't realize that was an issue. <laughs> I'm like falling asleep. Uh, I find it hard to look at him all the way. Yeah. <laughs> With your stupid it's a, fucking face. He, he, he did say that earlier. It was, I'm looking at your stupid ri- fucking face. <laughs> it, was ridic- it was a ridiculous face. Dude, I, it's, it's, it made me laugh. That's all I want to do. All right. <laughs> is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. Come on. <laughs> so we got uh, the song available on all your streaming platforms, and you have a lyric video to go with it. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, Tyler, TC Media, um, he knocked it out of the park again. This video is awesome. Yeah. Um, I think he he really nailed it. Um, just had a couple like technical things, like notes to go back on. But, I mean, he really, on the first shot, um, nailed it. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's always fun. I, I'm, like, the king of misheard lyrics, like, when I, like, actually find out what people say. Like, I mean, I just discovered a couple of lines Josh said in Hollow Point Hero songs, like from back in the day. I've been in the band how long? And I'm just not Too like, there, there, there's there's some lyrics I'm just not like figuring out what he's actually saying. So I like lyric videos. Some people might not, might not like them, but. Yeah, I like them. I liked, uh, especially uh, just fun for to follow along and mm-hmm. get to learn uh, so I can sing along properly and not make my own words. That's right. So. Uh, yeah, but this was a, this is a lot of fun, man. I immediately like thought like that this needs to be in a, like a horror movie or something. Like, I just feel like it would, uh, fit. It definitely has like action sequence right. to it, like a, like a vibe to it. There's definitely an energy to it. We were just rehearsing it tonight and we actually ran it a couple times, which was nice. I, you know, getting to play it a couple times in a row, one like without Josh singing. So it sounds awesome. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's amazing how it cleans it up. It's, it's, amazing it's, how it's much way better, cleaner. How much better it really is. Yeah, there's like this raspiness like that's this normally theme, going yeah. on. It's like this weird sound. I can't describe it. It's like when you finally get the snow out of the uh, antenna when you were trying to watch your favorite TV program. Yeah. yeah. Get the snow um, out and it's cleared up. Yeah, it's it, it's funny. It has it has some like thrash metal elements, which uh, that's where a lot of my influence lies as a guitar player. So I was able to kind of cut loose a little bit on this one, which is nice. Yeah, a little little riff action. Brandon Power Chord Barbier. It, you know some some old Metallica, old Megadeth, or whatever. Right, that, the old thrash, the Bay City, Bay Area thrash was what I came up on. So, well, tell me, uh, how many? Tell me a little bit about how this song came to life. How we built it up and uh, it uh, where this uh, riff and stuff. Like, where anything about the song? Didn't it start with Debo? Yeah, the, I think I think Jeremy. De- had yeah, the, yeah. The Debo, idea. Debo, Debo had the initial idea and was like, "I just hear, I just hear this melody." And he sat with Josh, and again, this is not how we normally wrote songs, like in the past. So, like that whole rehearsal, like him and Jeremy just sat on the couch. That couch, no, it was a different couch. But anyway, that's not important. <laughs> they, they like kind of worked it out, and then of course it goes to the we go to the studio. You know we. Well, but- well, the guitar riffs came later. It was it was it was more the it was more the melodies, uh, and and it was like it was a, it was a fast song, you know. Mm-hmm. He remember yeah, he was like, you know, he he was kind of giving you that the the melody, and then you ran with it, and then you and I just laid yeah. some yeah. heavy guitar riffs over it, and it was and it the way it came together. Of course, it goes to the studio and comes out nothing like it went nothing, in, right? Yeah. You know, but that. We perp. That was the only thing we did do purposefully. Was we wanted to go in. The song's not a hundred percent complete. We didn't want to mapped out. We wanted to kind of let it <clears throat> come together. That was stressful. Remember the last day, like where we didn't have anything. Mm-hmm. Like he literally was like, well, I remember. "Hit space bar," I remember. and when you guys figured out, let me know. And he left the room, <laughs> <laughs> and I, that did not feel good. <laughs> but it was necessary. Mm-hmm. It, we, I mean, I actually have a picture of the three of us sitting there just the three of us in that room you were at the control board mm-hmm. like and we had to finish the songs you know on the fly and it, it came it came together yeah my son named it he, oh, yeah. he I, w- I was listening back to like some early demos of it in the car and he was just like you should call this song the rattler 
That's, and I was like, that's fucking kick ass. That's kind of a, to me, that's a special <laughs> thing about it. Like we didn't write it thinking like, oh, this song's about a snake or, yeah, no. or, or Stone Cold Steve Austin, which is important <laughs> or a baby rattler. None of those things. But uh, when he's like, hey, well, he wants to call it the rattler because that's what your son, like he just, that's what came to his head. He literally was like, I just see a snake. <laughs> So it's like, well, and once he said that, we're all like, and, it's, I mean, it's and a rattler then. What you guys probably don't know is like, I, I obsess, like when we're in the writing process, like I'm listening to, I'm, I'm, listening. I'm just terrified of snakes. I, <laughs> I'm like listening to the, to the demos a lot, trying to see if I hear different ideas and stuff. And of course, with the kids riding the car, they hear it a lot too. Gets to the point where they ask to hear them. Well, yeah. well that's good that they, uh enjoy them yeah man that's that's what's so weird like now i've transitioned into like suburban rock star dad where like my kids are into it all right you know was this recorded at jack's new space or no we were at the tail end of his old space okay yeah we did we haven't been in the new space yet we i think we were one of the last bands in the old space actually yeah he had just he had just had his kid or was about to he was was about about he was about About to to. so yeah he hadn't even had his son yet um, so that was another thing. Like, you know, has he had a son yet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I think, you know, uh, call me cheesy or whatever, but like, I think, cheesy. I think that almost at <laughs> stay fresh cheese bags. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got me all off track. I don't even know what I was going to say, Shane. I don't even know. I do. Uh, I really liked his old space, but I'm excited to see uh, what the new one looks like. So um, maybe I can come back down and tag. You got to come along. with us if we ever get to go down there again. Yeah, he. We were voted the most fartingest band ever. <laughs> uh, we probably talked about that last time, but I, that kind of ruins our. They they bring it up all the time. It's not something I'm very proud. Of, <laughs> I know that's why I'm worried. Josh is <laughs> not wearing that. I, I'm worried that he won't want not. us back. Is the problem, Jack? If you're hearing this, we're sorry about that. Let's be real here. There's only one of us that's farting. Yeah. And it's not, and he's gonna, not here. I'm not going to point any fingers at anybody that's not here. <laughs> right. I won't. <laughs> I won't point any fingers. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I mean, hopefully, he, uh, you know, we'll figure out a way to. Yeah, man. Dude, Jack, Jack's the, records. Uh, defumigate the room. Jack's so. track record speaks for itself. Look at the music that's come out of oh, his yeah. studios. And I mean, you know, he's booked up. His calendar's full a lot. He's a busy guy. Do easy. I think he's even getting ready to drop. They're getting ready to drop their own album, ain't they? Yeah, he's been working War on it. War of Ages. Yeah. Hell yeah. Pretty yeah. sure Def Leppard recorded there. I think. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't think so, Ryan. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm trying to. What are you guys? Uh, like I said, there's the the lyric video to go with it. But are you thinking uh, filming a real video to go with it? Another, Shane, another music video or Shane? We don't have any money. Oh yeah. We were actually going to talk to you to see if you could loan us. We were, we were going to. I'm going to need about, that sponsorship um, back. Can, can we? Yeah. Can you sponsor us? Yeah. For the video. Okay. Can, no, man. Truthfully, like we. <laughs> We've, I think that was a no. I mean, being fully transparent, like we've swung and missed on a couple video ideas on a couple songs. And it's really, especially after doing Burning Alive, like for instance, the video we did for that, like it was so good. Like I don't want to come with something less, less than. And like the ideas we had, like we had an idea for Flood. And it was going to require like either a lot of water or a lot of fire or both. And like, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> well, and we came close. Like there was, I think at one point there was like a empty parking garage that was going to be demolished. And we had like the last couple days available in it. So we could like set fire in there because it's just concrete. And, you know, and I, we, we came close and it didn't, it didn't happen. And then, yeah, we just, we haven't been able to pull the trigger on an idea like worthy enough to, because I mean, it's, it's not cheap. To do a good one. All right. You know, so. And it's not good to do a cheap one. And it's one. not good to do a cheap one. Nope. So, yeah. Thought, We've talked about maybe like doing it. doing a video, <laughs> uh, if not on this song, uh, maybe the next one, because we've got one more in the chamber, like, that hasn't been released yet. And that'll that'll finish out the EP, I think. And then the whole thing will be out at that point. We're dropping a whole Maybe. Album. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We're doing it. Yeah. 
I'm get, I'm putting the cart before the horse here. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think it would be fun. I think the you know, like I mentioned, kind of the. I, I kind of pictured it like in a horror movie setting or something like that. Yeah, just man. With, you know, like uh, some of the lyric content and things. Like I just pictured like it could be a lot. There's a lot of good imagery that it could be pulled from to make a, a fun video when we get the – if the timing is right and everything to make it happen. So awesome. Yeah, it, w- it would be cool to do kind of a Halloween theme maybe, man. It's yeah. I got a Michael Myers mask. I can <laughs> – Shane as yeah. Michael Myers. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's perfect. Yeah. Like just the mask. Wear like a rock, paper, podcast t-shirt yeah. and everything else. Like dress normal and then just wear the mask. I'm still pretty scared. Yeah. See, <clears throat> see, this is what happens. We start mind melding and getting ideas going. And then at, at some point someone goes, this is dumb. And then this is, eh, it's this gone too far. The price is right. Music when like you lose plays. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Instead of a knife, he has a microphone. Yep. Figure that one out. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's killer. He's slave. And then have him go. Ch, ch, ch. <laughs> Switched What's up to Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Just do whatever you want. Do them all. Yeah. It's like our actual With Wednesday a knife glove. Here. With a knife glove. Knife glove. Yeah. I love that movie. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, well, you might be able to, uh, I mean, I'm pretty confident we will uh, hear this song live on July 15th. At Diamond What's going Music? on that day? I don't even know, man. I think there was some kind of party. I mean, well, I might have something going on. There was man. A bar- I, have I think there's a barbecue party. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. I got some other shit to do. Yeah. This July 15th is the Outrun the Fall barbecue party number two. What else was it called? Barbecue Bash 2 Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> it's going to be the best night. Who signed off on that? Ever. <laughs> It was in the group text. I'm Every, not going to get into it with you right now, but it was in the group everybody text. Everybody that purchases a ticket or slides in the back door, however they get in there, gets a plate of badass barbecue. Yeah, man. Not just lips and assholes either. Oh, like we're talking, what? we're talking, we're talking brisket, Sam's hot dogs or <laughs> Sam's hot dogs. <laughs> or, Chicken tenders, the seven dollar good ones, dude. not the. <laughs> No, uh, for real, pulled pork, like brisket, maybe some ribs. Like I'm still working out the menu with Dustin, but like, I, what's funny? <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw. He he had made a social media post um, showing a picture of something sitting on his table, and in the background is a notepad that says "Outrun the fucking fall," and it's got like all this like meat, like <laughs> 700 pounds of pork butts. And I'm like, dude, that's way too much. But I mean, I love the enthusiasm. It's not too much as long as everybody listening. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, if you remember, we did one a few years ago, pre-COVID. Uh, it was actually when the Jackal came out. Um, it was yeah. July 4th weekend yeah. at the, the Firebird, Firebird. RIP yeah. Firebird. Yeah, um, I miss you. And, dude, it was a great night. He rolled the smoker out there and, like, was slinging barbecue for everyone who was, like, staying outside. or or And the venue was cool about letting it come in. Mm-hmm. And it was just, dude, we walked away from that saying it was, like, the, one of the, some of the most fun we had ever had on mm-hmm. playing a show. And we talked about a second one, almost got one off the ground, and then COVID hit. COVID just and, us and right so in the face. it came back around. It's been talked about. I mean, we've we've teased it a couple times, and then nothing happened. And then here we are. Like, we got a good group of bands. Uh, Inner Outlines is joining us. Um, those dudes are always solid. They got some new music that just dropped. What Miracle? And would you even believe me? I think they just and they, yeah. that they got a their little album EP thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Willem to friend. Which is like one of my favorite hardcore bands right now. Um, I love it, dude. I they got a song called "King of the Cul de Sac" that is uh, lyrically some of the best lyrics that have been written in 2023, easily. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about them. Uh, my homie Joe's on drums, um, so we get to have them come out. Um, is his name Mahomie Joe? Mahomie Joe. <laughs> okay, I just didn't know. It's all one word, actually. It, it sounds like it's not, but it is. Um, no Wake. <laughs> no Wake. Yeah. Dudes in No Wake are joining no wake us or no also. Wake? I don't know the pronunciation exactly. It might be No Wake. Yeah, like an Indian thing. No. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, those dudes are going to join us too from Hannibal. They're um, awesome. They're They're awesome. Um, I love their song War Tooth. I love that riff. 
It's um, so yeah. Again, I mean, this is how we always do it. I mean, you've you've seen us do this, Shane. Like, we bring our friends out. Like, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a mix as far as like the the different like bands and, and types of bands, but they're all they're all our friends. And it's bands you need to see. Like, it's it's bands that you probably don't know, but you will know by the time it's all said and done. We're even doing an after party, you know, to to close out the night with uh, some some good good friends of ours, uh, a band. Uh, they're they're they were the original Bad Habit. There's a Bad Habit around town now that's kind of taken off and done really good, but they were called Bad Habit, um, and they're really good. Tons of like really good rock covers, all kinds yeah. of stuff. We so wanted front to back. We we wanted to approach it a little bit differently instead of us playing, you know. 11 o'clock to midnight or shutting the bar down you know we we were party. yeah we, we we brought in some friends that are gonna do some you know have some live entertainment music some good covers and stuff in the background oh, yeah. while everyone gets to hang out and if there's barbecue left eat some barbecue and um you know my birthday is actually a few days after that so like maybe we'll get a cake who knows i don't know you heard that shane yep it's on the record Costco cake. It's got that layer of buttercream in, the, in middle. the middle. It's in the middle. Oh, oh, that's yeah. what we did at the last barbecue show. Because it was, uh, what's his face? Gary Gary King Johnson the fourth or whatever. That dude, it was his birthday. Yeah, his birthday's, yeah. Yep. I uh, just saw You You emceed that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you for that. Hey. Are you in town on the 15th? Are you hanging out? Maybe. Don't be that way. I mean, if you're there, man. <laughs> I'm, I'll be there for the barbecue. Okay. That's Brandon, all I really. Brandon care. wants you to bring yeah. him a cake. Yeah. So uh, everybody heard. Bring Brandon a cake. Yeah. If you guys don't give me a cake on my birthday show, you're all dead to me. <laughs> all dead to me. Uh, so I just had a birthday, and Stacy hooked it up with this uh, peanut butter Oreo cheesecake, um, and it was Pizza? awesome. God damn, Dude, Shane! I told you, remember? Pizza? My feet will tingle if I eat that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was uh, peanut butter, was, Oreo, cheesecake, pizza, ice cream, <laughs> sandwich. It was legit. Dude. Zero sugar. Yeah. Zero calories. I can't Gluten believe it. Gluten free. Yep. Gluten's not real, man. It was. Uh, it's a made up thing. It was one of the one of the best things. So maybe I'll maybe I'll have make that for you, dude. I'm down. And then a simple cookie cake goes a long way. <laughs> <right>. Also. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's going to, it's going to be a kick-ass show, man. It's at Diamond Music Hall, tickets in advance. Uh, they're cheaper in advance, obviously. And, and the headcount will help with barbecue. I can make sure I got enough of the good stuff. Yeah. RSVP. So, yeah. Some, yeah. Magnum tickets Pre, today. Pre-sale, buy your tickets in advance or RSVP to the Facebook thing. Whatever, man. Just, I need to know who's coming so I can get everyone fed. Yeah. Well, let's pack it out and have a good time and uh throw down and then and we'll get we'll all stuff our face full of pulled pork and then we'll go get in the mosh pit and throw uh, up. yeah <laughs> i'll probably be there brandon yeah all right cool come to think of it <clears throat> i guess i got you know what man i'll put you on the list you cool. don't even gotta buy a ticket i can, I can make room for it <laughs> yep we're, we're better to pull your pork than at diamond music Hall. here, here, here right. here's a good one for this group because uh, i got into this i got into this argument earlier in the week Bacon, crispy or chewy? Oh, I love this. oh crispy. Chewy. I'm glad we got question. your bullshit out of the way so we oh, can continue this go. discussion. Chewy. On doubt. What? I just said I'm, I'm a, I'm Chewy. On doubt. Stop. Uh. <laughs> just get back to your crispy bacon. <laughs> Shane, please. He can't. He's uh, still, <laughs> still chewing all the crumbs. <laughs> get up. <laughs> I mean, I I, uh, I would I would say chewy. Uh, oh, you all can fuck all. Yeah. He was gonna say both with saying crewy. Well, yeah, I'll, but I mean, like, I would like. I'm not saying raw or undercooked. Like, right. you got to cook it, but it should bend. All right, definitely. Well, I'm also saying I'm. I'm also saying I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna not eat it. Hmm. Interesting. So, but you like crispy. I like crispy because yeah. I'm not eating the crispy bacon. What? You're not even going to eat it? Mm-mm. If it like snaps apart? If it crumbles into more <laughs> than two pieces, That's... it's overcooked. <clears throat> like you, you, it's burnt. That's crazy. You're burnt. a crazy person. B-U-R-N-T. I... <laughs> You're a crazy person. I do burnt. agree with him. You done cooked all the fat off of it. 
And now you just chart it to be mean. <laughs> to be mean. Now yep. you're just being mean. <laughs> so come get your burnt bacon. So, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. I, that makes me feel a lot better. I yep. thought there was going to be more crunchy fans in the house. <laughs> in my small circle. And the cheese folks. stands alone. <laughs> yeah. Most folks are crunchy. Of, of <clears throat> anybody that I know. That, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got Everybody's outvoted crunchy. hella. Oh, I got I, outvoted hella at the barbershop. <laughs> This is a weird group because Chewy's normally, it's like, Chewy, that's gross. You so know? you want to hear my logic behind it? No. I should be able to like mold it and bend it and fit it to like fit on the burger, on the sandwich, the melt, the BLT, whatever you're having. Like I need to be, I need to be able to work with it. I can't just, and you're, so you're answering the question probably breakfast bacon, like mm-hmm. just bacon by itself on a plate. You want it crispy. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, my my logic goes to, like, what can I eat this bacon on? And how do I need this bacon to combine with these, like, delicious melts and sandwiches and bagels? Okay, well, uh, here's my here's my complaint with okay. chewy, chewy bacon on a sandwich is at some point you're not going to buy it all the way through that piece of bacon. And when you go to – and it's the whole piece is going to come out. That's but surprise that bacon. bacon. But <laughs> that's surprise bacon. That's a phenomenon like that's a part of the experience. But if it's crispy, then you're just then you're just getting bacon with every bite. The junior bacon cheese method from Wendy's. It breaks off with every yeah. bite. You're right. Yeah. You're, you're not wrong. The physics of it's there. <laughs> I mean, that's I why mean, they make bacons. I mean, it's science. <laughs> it is science. What if you take the chewy? bacon and you cut it into pieces yeah and then it's you get a one a little bit in each bite but it's not crunchy well i would i'd be okay with that yeah it's a lot more work though for sure just, you just get one of those choppers and pop 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 oh one you of love the, my nuts <laughs> one of the slap and chop <laughs> yeah i yeah, love dude. my nuts <laughs> get to the chopper <laughs> <clears throat> That guy beat uh, up a hooker. <laughs> I, think he, I think he bit her. <laughs> His mugshot's on there. Google yeah. it. <laughs> the ShamWow guy. <laughs> Google ShamWow like DUI or some shit. <laughs> Google beating up hookers. Yeah, he did. He bit her. Like there was like teeth marks. <laughs> uh, well. well um, so now that we cover the important stuff. Yeah. Now that- <laughs> Bacon and ShamWow guy. We got it all. About All the important stuff. We got the show coming up. Yep. Yeah. I, uh, fourth is coming up. You doing anything cool for the fourth? Schwerking. Schwerking. Yeah. Schwerking. What? At the school? Yeah. What are you doing uh, on the fourth of July? At the toilets school? are still poopy. Yeah. Doing uh, uh sec- firework security. <laughs> that's oh, right. that's yeah. right. That's right. I remember you did that. Yeah. But how? Well, this is they? uh. Well, this is for the school though. So really. Yeah. They want. They don't want. Uh, I got to keep kids off the parking lot. Like. From shooting Get fireworks and stuff. That's yeah. good. Basically like, Jesus Christ, is that the pregnant issue? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys? Just uh, are we talking about? I'm just, we're. The honest question here, let's be real about it. Yeah. What restaurant has the best chicken strips? Everybody gets an answer, and then we're just going to move on. Because you guys are all set up. I already know what's You're going on here. Who who has the best chicken strips? What is yours then? What's uh, your uh, <laughs> Chester's all day? But that's probably because I always had them, and it's just kind of a it's a comfort thing for me. But but I, I would I would get Chester's. How about you, Shane? Best chicken strips uh, in anywhere? Yeah, uh, I do like Chester's. Um, Which ones do you love? I like uh, Popeyes. I like. Uh, we know you like everything. I may, uh, at one time, I might have said. I like get, KFC yeah. and Popeyes. <laughs> at one time, I. You're just naming all the chicken places. <laughs> hey, I'm going through the list. Man. He's gotta, I, gotta I think. wasn't prepared for the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, at one time, I might have said Dairy Queen. Um, you just like the gravy. The gravy. Yeah, 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 the gravy is the only You can dip the box in the gravy. <laughs> I think but, I have. But they, like, <laughs> they recently changed it to where it's like. They don't have the same strips, and and then they have like these little. They're different. Yeah, they're I'm different. Like, no, they used to be baller, but they're not anymore. Right. It's like since when? It's the it's the Tyson it's Tyson frozen 
Dairy Queen strips have gone downhill big time. Uh, I'm a, I'm a Chester's guy too. Like Chester's is my number one, only because the re- the true goat is no longer in business. You remember R.T. Weiler's down on Main Street? Yep. The place with all the dog mm-hmm. pictures on the wall. They had the best chicken strips because they were hand breaded, like to order. So they had like nice. chicken strips ready to go, and they would just bread them and fry them to order. And they and then they had the best honey mustard. How about you, Josh? We're not even going to talk about canes or no. so, like so slim hold on, chickens. Hold on, hold on. Where they're doing exactly what you just described. So here's the thing: canes is- canes has burned me the last two times I've gone there, mm. and I've gotten subpar, cold, gritty chicken that's like been in the bin too long. They are pre-making it at the, Wins- at, the, at the Winsville Canes. They are that's pre-making a- <laughs> it, and that's a hard call out right there. I mean, go to Mid Rivers if you can drive a little further. If you got the gas, or step it up, Winsville Canes. Because Winsville Canes is supposed to be it. new. It's supposed to be new, right? The new location, and it, it's dude. They burned me twice now. I won't get it. All right, Josh, what's your favorite? Slim chickens. I guess yeah. It's got you're a slim chickens right guy, now. and, and it, if uh, I if I can get fresh. Slim chickens, it's good, but I see I've had the same problem with them. I've gotten chicken that was not made. Well, that's how I am I about that's how I am about Chester's. Like, don't. I've gotten chicken from Chester's don't. that was just like, <laughs> don't. It's, it's been it's been their barbe- it, their barbecue sauce the warmer, combo with the spicy Dude. is the best. Just like I mean, it's it's just a magical combination with the sauce and, and the breading is. or something. Like it's the same the McDonald's barbecue sauce with chicken nuggets. There's something magical about that combo. The chicken wears a cowboy hat, Josh. <laughs> you can't beat that. You aren't touching that with a 10-foot dick. <laughs> Pole. Sorry, that was so two Ch- Chester Chester spicy pole. is on the level. The Chester's no one touches it. Yeah, the <laughs> They're good. The wedges. Yeah, see, I don't care about the wedges. I mean, <laughs> I don't really care. About I the don't wedges. like the big ones, the small ones that get done all the way through. They're not as starchy. <laughs> too much potato. Yeah, they're too potato. If I can get the, if I can get them, to, if I, if I could be what? like, I'm not that guy. But if I was that guy, to be like, um, could you give me that one and that one and yeah. that one, and I could pick like all you the, do that. all the thin ones, crispy. Yeah, I would yeah, pick all the thin ones. I but then at that point, you that. might as well just buy French fries. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, but they're not the same. No, they're Shane, not. what's your favorite chicken strips? Oh, jeez. You put me back on Jesus. the bus. You never Jesus. So if you say Jesus, <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I Jesus, Jesus chicken strips. Then it's going to be. good chicken strips. So. Well, he does. And he's not open on Sunday, and it's Chick-fil-A. All right. See, I am not a huge Chick-fil-A fan. Okay. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I. You're just. No, I. Just bucking the system. I think I eat it too much. I got kids, so of course <laughs> That's I, eat, a good point. I, I eat a lot. If I ate it less frequently, I would probably <laughs> like it more. I don't, I don't like there, it, but I eat it all the time. Why do their sandwiches still taste like pickles? Even, why do they have a pickle on them? Even, yeah, even no, pickle, no pickle pickles pickle do on not it. belong on a well, chicken yeah, sandwich, yeah, and I'll yeah, die yeah, on that hill. Pickle on it, but even when there's no pickle on it, because I, I, I get because they're just picking it off your bun. They're not giving you a fresh one. They took it off. Well, how else would it taste like a pickle? I mean, that's well, your question. I mean, that's yeah, that's what I'm asking. They dip but, their hand in the jar of pickle juice and they flick it on it for flavor. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> so, Shane, what's your favorite chicken? Uh, yeah, Shane. I I think I said Chester's. I think. Uh, <laughs> which one? I think I said Chester's earlier. He, oh, yeah, he did. Oh, the, yeah, first, he did. the first time you guys asked me. Chester's. So Wrong. I I thought this was a setup because you're a you're a known Canes hater. Oh yeah, I don't <laughs> a yeah. Canes hater. Yeah, oh, yeah. A, Ryan's trying to trying to start a fight here. Right. <laughs> I wasn't. No, no I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. I'm yeah. just, I'm kidding. I am putting you on the spot though. Like, no, what is it you <laughs> don't like about Canes? <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, I. I I I just haven't had a good experience. The, the time I uh, went there, it was just trash, and I was like, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. That's how my last yeah. two visits have been. It was like You're uh, the most inconsistent of the places. I've right. had a really bad meal at Canes, and I've had you, a you, really yeah, good. Yeah, you meal. and I have had lunch there where that I've thought was delightful. That is that Canes is where the barbecue show, the first one, was invented. Canes mm-hmm. parking lot. I think they. It's all, true. We were at Canes, and that's yeah. when we talked about. Yeah. I think they all have their days where, you know, but yeah, there's just inconsistencies, that's for sure. So if you get burned, it's like that's stuck in your mind. You're hard to go back after you uh, get some funky chicken. 
that's how I am on Jack in the Box right now. I know there's still a few uh, locations open, but I've gotten consistently bad Jack in the Box, and I just can't do it. Oh, like, yeah. The nostalgia I'm, factor don't. I've been so over anymore. Jack in the Box for, like, long time. They've made long, such long terrible time. sandwiches. I might as well just got their eat sandwich. it. It's junk. Yeah. I might as well eat it on the toilet. <laughs> like, just get there in advance. You might as well eat the toilet. I mean, just <laughs> just throw the tacos into the toilet. It's the same consistency when it comes out. I thought he meant like dying on the toilet. No. Like, like sit there Indian style. <laughs> like facing no. backwards. And you yeah, if you, that, take, that's you, that's you I, take your pants all the way off and you turn yeah, around. Yeah. yeah that, and you have, you have a little table. <laughs> Definitely don't need pants to eat that stuff. It's my bathroom as well as my office. <laughs> Life hacks. Uh, what did you think about the handmade pan made pizza tonight <laughs> from Pizza Hut? We did Domino's last you, time. Proud you, sponsor, by the when way. You it was, said, it was uh, pizza the Hut. When you said handmade uh, chicken strips, I thought we were going right back into oh, it. Like, uh, <laughs> handmade chicken strips, <laughs> also yeah. made by hand. <laughs> Not the pan. The pan isn't made by hands, although it probably is by a factory worker. <laughs> forged. <But> forged. <laughs> forged in the forged fires in the, of in the Mount pan Doom. Factories. <laughs> Look, I'll handle the token references from here on out. Right? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you take it from you here. Just let me take, take those. Yeah, I think what, uh, we had some Pizza Hut tonight. We did, man. I mean, I, I, I don't I'm a pizza eating house, man. We get right. pizza a couple times a week. So it's always like, where do we get it from? Where do we get it from? And so tonight I chose Pizza Hut. I kinda I was kind of surprised we didn't get the Casey's. I thought, I mean, dude, can I really order like five pizzas from Casey's and pick them up? Like, yeah. They'd be able to handle that kind I of I feel bandwidth. like it would like shut the entire place <laughs> down. I mean, I, if I'm working in the Casey's pizza kitchen. <laughs> Call them up, ask them what kind of bandwidth they can handle. <laughs> Sorry, 19, are limit. 19 <laughs> year old Kevin on probation, probably working in the Casey's uh, Pizza Mart. <clears throat> with the, and he's like, if I keep the carousel stocked, I'll smoke a bowl out back. And like, it'd be a nice quiet night at the Casey's kitchen. And then I call him like, I need three meat lovers, yeah. all thin crust yeah, with all special ingredients taken off of them in different orders. And like, and I place the order. His night is fucked. He's like, that'll yeah. be three hours. He's yeah. Like, He's like, I don't even know where that many pizzas are. Back yeah. Here. He he hates you. Yeah. Immediately. <clears throat> Sorry, Kevin. So that's I'm, why we didn't do Casey's because I, I needed a lot of pizza. I was feeding the whole band tonight. Proud sponsor. Plus the podcast. Um, and plus my roommates. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's still... I haven't had pizza in a while. It's, it's, Troy Pizza Hut is legit. It's pretty they've good. never let they've never let me down. They definitely hit the spot. It's pretty tasty stuff. I mean, yeah, it Got, does the trick. Oh, here's Danny. Danny, he's all right. He's all right. Is there a little pizza yeah. stealer? Yeah, he got. He did get a couple He's pieces. Like, did he, he get a couple? He he he. I I think there were two meat lovers slices left on, like, in the top box. He he's got. like, I just want to say thanks nice. for the pizza. The rest is in the fridge. You guys are talking about pizza? Yeah. He, he's like, he's like, I can smell what, it. what do you think, Danny? <laughs> he's a good boy. Uh, oh my! <laughs> Guess how much he weighs. Fucking two, 200. No, you don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Three fifty. Don't insult. Three. <laughs> don't insult my dog like that. First of all, he's not, that, he's not that fat. Eighty pounds. Dude, he's one hundred twenty-six. Giant. He's one hundred twenty-six pounds. That's why he wasn't allowed to have any pizza. He's a thick boy. But he took it anyway by force. Yeah, he, he's one hundred. <laughs> Like I mentioned, he's 126 pounds. So. Well, if you go through his vet records, it literally every every single vet visit is like recommend weight control formula dog food. Every visit for the last the two vet. years, <laughs> and he's like, I don't believe it. I just saw, I've seen it before, but I just saw it the other day it made me laugh. Uh, but it was a uh, one of the you know like reels and. Uh, they're playing the audio over the dog, and it said, uh, 
It said, uh, yeah, I just went to uh, the doctor. He said I was a beast. And he goes, no, she said you were obese. He's like, oh, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, that's what he hears. Beast. Like, oh, I'm a beast. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, so we, uh, new music, new show. Mm-hmm. New um, video. Yep. Yeah. You said uh, you did mention Hollow Point Heroes uh, early Ooh. to start the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, this year, celebrating 10 years of the uh, debut, right? Yeah. 10 years of the self-titled, at the time, uh, debut album. Yep. Yeah. Fun fact, my band, Wild Tiger Fighters, opened the CD release show 10 years ago. Hell on, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's actually almost to the day of the show, actually. Um, that that year, 10 years ago, it was July 20th, I think. I have a flyer on here somewhere. But yeah, man, that's exciting. I, I was literally just talking to Josh about that before rehearsal, like, not many bands get that far. Those were good times. And, and were good yeah, times. I mean, it, it, I mean, it catapulted like the band where it's at today. You know, it definitely. I mean, I, I've always said I've, I've been a fan first. I mean, I I love that album. I mean, you you remember the Ice House nights, Shane? I mean, oh, yeah. you, you've been you've been along for the whole yeah, ten years. Ice House, <laughs> I mean, the Ice House days. Yeah. My house night. See, and that, and that, what's crazy is I was there. Mm-hmm. I wasn't in the band yet, but I was there. And I mean, that, that's what, when I joined the band, you were just like, the crazy thing is, is like, you've been around the whole time pretty much. Like, mm-hmm. you already technically were in the band. But, um, yeah, 10 years, man. I, I was, I'm hoping we get to play a little bit of the, the album, some of the songs live, um, at the show. It just yeah. kind of depends that it, with as many songs as we have now, <clears throat> It's hard. It's hard to like cherry pick like what you're gonna play now, right? You know, for for every song we try and dust off, like we got to shelf another one that is someone else's favorite. Sure, you know, so that's that's tough sometimes. And I mean, the reality is that this band's come a long way from then too, right? Um, yeah, I yeah, I just fun to think. Well, man, like I said, those were. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, that's kind of what's fun about records. I feel like you know, like it's just kind of captures that time and uh you can time travel back to those memories like saying like going back to thinking about ice house nights and things like that like it just fast yeah you know i mean the the whole journey man for sure it's it's been it's 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 something to not ignore like i i it's it's kind of a fine line for us because we're out on the fall right when we had when we came out with that you know that change Part of that, part of the catharsis of of that was like uh, of putting putting Hollow Point Heroes to bed. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I remember early on it was like absolutely <clears> not, <throat> no songs, no right. songs from Hollow Point Heroes. Could, could not going to do it. You know, and and look, I, I get I get to experience it and and love it a different way because I wasn't in the kitchen helping cook it. Like you know how you, they say like a meal, you know, you you get to enjoy a meal differently if you didn't help cook it. Um, and that's how I feel about the album. Like I was, I wasn't necessarily there, but it does mean a lot to me, you know, on a bunch of different levels. Yeah. But I respect that the folk, we don't want uh, too much focus put on that because sure. it, that was another time. Yeah. But yeah, man, it, uh, like you're saying though, we do have, uh, quite the catalog built up of outrun the fall tunes now you guys. And, and like I said, another, uh, Another one coming soon, even after we just dropped this one. So we got uh, yeah, we got one more we left got, um, that we like from this group of songs that we've re- released recently, and you know, it's all it all kind of comes together. It was all done with the same studio, the same producer, yeah. you know, um, mixed and mastered and all that by the same people. So like, it's one project, right? And so when that last one drops, we'll have some we'll have some bonus content, some extra stuff to kind of go along with it. Maybe maybe the video, maybe we finally settle on a music video idea. I'll I'll get my my mask ready. And I mean, the Michael Myers thing is definitely <laughs> on the table. I uh, I always uh, had this uh, idea of doing like a bunch of like TikTok or you know Instagram reels or whatever with it. Like doing like 
Michael Myers doing random everyday stuff, like just wear it all the time and just, you know, whatever. No context, Michael Myers. Right. <clears throat> but I haven't, I haven't done any of that. So. <laughs> He might burp. Yeah. He's got, <gasps> <laughs> he's got he the. Really, he really wants Ryan's attention for some reason. He just wants. You heard I'm Mr. Snack Man. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not impressed. This is the guy with the brownies all the time. All right. You literally walked in the house one time just tossing cheese balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, he came through the door just doing, like, with the barrel under his arm, just tossing them out. The dogs love Ryan. Yeah, what? He, he remembers that. I remember the cheese ball era. Yeah, that was a good time. Doctor said I had to cut that, <laughs> that, cut that out. Good time. <laughs> it was. He's like, how, how, how long does that tub last? I mean, like, it's supposed to last more than a day? He's like, okay, you got to stop. Your entire insides are orange. <laughs> the entire thing. Yep. What's uh, oh, dude? What's that? What are you on to now? <clears throat> what's your vice right now? Uh, what 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 are you eating in the car in secret? I, I don't. Uh, Everybody's got one. I got. Oh, one. My, mine is cashews. I stop at the gas station every morning and buy cashews. It's really it's an expensive habit. I might as well smoke. <laughs> <The> fancy nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I always have my nuts out in the car, <laughs> and it's just. And then I I have cashews and I mess them up. That's my thing. Is ca- yeah. cashews is my like my snack. What happened to the old trapper? And- old trap. I got a bag of old trapper too, but old trapper just got expensive. COVID messed old trapper up. Old yeah. trapper got, got he got he was the carrying beef jerky like, games got all messed beef jerky yeah. game was all messed up. It's like you you had to work two jobs for beef jerky. And I I'm thought too you lazy were, for that. I thought you were getting pretty close to like an endorsement deal or something. I hope but- so. They, they they were they were they were reaching out to me on social. Cattleman's cut. Cattleman's cut sent me a promo yeah. pack. <laughs> It wasn't all that great. I hope you hear this, cattleman. <laughs> Send me the good stuff. Next Send me the good go, stuff, go not go just on. these coupons to buy more stuff. <laughs> but tra- tra- Trapper never does me wrong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I-, I like cashews. What's your favorite road snack? Uh, You're going to uh, go through all your favorites, aren't you? Probably. Uh, Donuts, bears, Doritos. Yeah. yeah, all of them. Uh Jesus, Re- Brandon. Reese's oh, Sticks shit. is probably like my go-to. Reese's Sticks, that's good. How about you, Brandon? Favorite road snack, favorite. Mm-hmm. You want Combos, to, probably. No, no, I'll tell you exactly what it is. QT's jalapeno sausage roll for breakfast. It's in a little brown and green package. I knew you were a sausage guy. How do it's I not a, know about it's that? It's a I jalapeno. A it's one of their jalapeno sausages from like the roller grill. Yeah. And it's wrapped in like a... Almost like a what was it? How you pronounce it? A kolache? Yeah, you, the you, bread. It, yeah, you call it, me? and 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 it's 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 a jalapeno bread. It's got like flecks of like jalapeno like you know seasoning that, on it. No, it's this is ha- the first. This is the first I'm hearing. Eat one of those at eight a.m. You'll have heartburn by eleven, but it's <laughs> Dude, awesome. It sounds it sounds great. It sounds like burps for the rest of the day. Dude, at any great. given time, <clears throat> next time you see me randomly. Look in the back seat of the Jeep. There's probably three wrappers behind the driver's seat. Oh, I do know that. How about you, Josh? Oh, my God. You, I, you've There's seen an awful him, lot of my You've seen him in my vehicle right probably I just, before. I just, wow. I just realized. Your balls are showing. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I just realized I'm over here moving all around on the couch. Mike's probably picking all that up, isn't it? Nah, man. You got, no? you got a good? perfect mic placement. Good. You're good. Right. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Favorite road <clears throat> Don't I've been trying to think since you brought it up that one time. And I, I guess I don't really have one. No, okay. you're not a snacker. Nah, I feel like uh, you can't ask the skinny guy in the group. This what side, his favorite yeah, this snack side is. of the room and be like dust. <laughs> we have a lot more in common than <laughs> dust. Mountain Dew flavored vapes. I, he, yeah, yeah, he I mean, vapes. He vapes. I mean, he I doesn't do. snack. He smokes I, fat vapes. I would like that. Out of a I'm hammer. Not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I do have a. Uh, some um is it infected some beef no. with uh with qt lately they've they've taken a lot of lot from me and i um qt has taken a lot from you yes and i've been quiet for too long and it's time call them out speak time up i might call them out we're gonna tag Preach. them in this episode i uh i do we love qt the they, they, are, in Tulsa. they have a wonderful product 
but um, they got rid of the spicy mustard, and they uh, they have like all sorts of other different toppings and sauces, and they have yellow mustard and like six bottles of it, but they got rid of the spicy brown, and it bothers me, and I've been. I wish they would bring it back. Eat enough QT and you'll get the spicy brown. I yeah. promise you. Bring back the spicy and brown then, QT. And then also. It's fucking. Uh, Chet, what are you doing down in Tulsa, yeah. man? That's the, Come on, that's Chet. the president. Chet. The name's Chet. And then you mentioned Email mentioning him. the. Uh, I'll get it for you. Jalapeno roll for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Reminded me of uh, one of my particular favorite breakfast items they used to have was um, before the everybody switched over to the kitchens. They used to have the hot sea uh, sandwiches and things, and they had a um, called a square wrap, and it was like a egg sausage mm-hmm. with queso cheese and a tortilla, and it was awesome. Mm-hmm. And um, and then they got rid of those completely, and you can't find them anywhere. I think they killed hot sea, and or something. Uh, uh, they still have hot seas, but it's like it's something else. And now it's like it's because it's the QT kitchens. Um, yeah, it's all, what's but, weird is I worked there during that whole transition, like when they were having meetings about they were going to compete with fast food at lunchtime. Like the dream of like having a kitchen making stuff to order and stuff oh, was like do. that. That was that was easily ten years before it actually hit QT stores. It was being talked about in meetings, and <laughs> they at one time were gonna like they were gonna make it like a subway. You could just go in there and build a sandwich and they would like make it for you, go down the line, run it through the garden, whatever, you know, and they were going to have like sandwich workers there. And like, that's one of the reasons why I left actually, because I was going to have to be surf safe certified to to, like serve food to the public. Mm -hmm. I was going to have to have a restaurant certification to be a gas station manager. And so I got out of it, but like stuff, a lot of the hot seat sandwiches transitioned over, but they're not as good as they used to be. Like I like the shitty cheap frozen sausage, oh, yeah. egg, and cheese biscuit that got warmed up in an oven, and the cheese is all brown and burnt to the side of the wrapper. That's like, the best. That, that was a good breakfast sandwich. Yep. Josh is shaking his head. He also doesn't like Casey's. Pizza. No, I was getting ready to say you like Casey's pizza too. I know. Yeah, you don't. That's, no. <laughs> that tells me everything I need to know about you <laughs> as a person. Ryan does that and Wyatt Earp. Casey's Just, thin thin crust pizza. Casey's Thin Crust Don't Pizza. Start. It's brand new. I know I've been told I'm obsessed with Thin <laughs> Crust Pizza. It's I mean, awesome. There's not. There hasn't been like a trend of you being obsessed with certain things. No, just... I don't talk about things a lot right. all the time. Make it a thing. <laughs> Casey's Thin Crust Pizza. It blows their regular, regular crust, hand tossed, handmade pan pizza out of the <laughs> throw. Throw it in the dirt. Just get the get the thin crust and be done with it. <laughs> yep. It blows it. <clears throat> It'll blow it up. And <laughs> It'll blow it blows it. Yeah. And we all know thin crust pizza is better than thick crust anyway. Yeah. We're going to fight? For sure. Are it we going to fight? It depends. You wear depends, all right. You're pissing my dog off. He's whining over there because you. <laughs> Bro, we just had deep dish. <laughs> How can you She's say like you're that? Talk- Why'd you guys have to yeah. mention pizza? What's going Jesus. on, Danny? He said he said he didn't get the other four pizzas. You guys talking about pizza again? <clears throat> sorry, um, I'm sorry we brought it up. See, I like thin crust pizza when there's like a ton of toppings on it. Same. Like, did you ever eat at Fortels? Mm-hmm. Fortels was like notorious for piling so much toppings on it. Half of it's coming off when you grab the piece, but that's the whole point. Mm-hmm. I wish the half that doesn't fall off is great. Steph's pizza, Stefanina's pizza is kind of like that too. If you've ever had that, proud see sponsor. that's another one where like if I get just one or even two toppings on a Stefanina's pizza, I feel shortchanged. Yeah, but if you load it like get a deluxe, oh, they're and, deluxe, and it's loaded down like I get like a deluxe, no mushroom, and like that's that's fucking awesome. It's got just enough veggie on it. That was my chair that was. <laughs> yeah, that was right, like, dude. Let's go. Let's go get some pizza. Burr. I got that black thorn pizza and that was yeah. Did you like it, dude? That's, loved it. It's a, it's a very it's a very uh, what's the word like divisive. Awesome. Um, well, some people are like it's all hype and it sucks, and other people are like it's the best pizza in St. Louis. I think you've said both. Um, I liked it better the f- the first couple times I had oh. it than the last. The last time I I was on a date though that probably made Oof. it taste bad because <laughs> it wasn't an awesome date. Uh. But uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's our endorsement. Uh, you know, get you some uh, 
Get you some Blackthorn pizza, some thin crust Casey's, some Chester's chicken strips, some... It's always about food with us, man. That's why we're doing the some, barbecue some, bash, too. Electric some chew, chewy bacon. Chewy bacon, yeah. Mm. I mean, don't even get me started on pink Starburst and mustard. Everybody knows my stance uh, on those things. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Danny, what is Danny, you doing? Get down. I love you, buddy. Uh, well, yeah, snag tickets. Join us July snack. Did 15th. you say snack tickets? <laughs> snack tickets, That's yes. That's we're going to call it. Thank you for snack, that. Snack tickets, yeah. Get your snack it's $15 tickets. for your snack ticket. And then it comes with a free show. It comes with a free show. Yeah. Come, come, yeah. Hey, that's the secret, Ryan. We need to stop booking it as a show. It's a barbecue. You get a fifteen dollar dinner and a free show. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, worth every penny too, man. I mean, there's gonna be two sides. <laughs> I haven't picked which two sides. I should have done like a poll. Yeah. He's like, I'm not a baked bean guy. We got time, but really? he probably could have done a five gallon bucket of baked beans, no problem. But oh, I yeah. said no. Some bacon in there. Um, I don't know if there's any yeah, bacon. I mean, you put them in the in the pork beans. Maybe some ribs. Yeah. I can do some ribs. Uh, I think. Oh well, yeah, I'm excited. My food again. I haven't seen. Uh, we can't get off of it. I haven't seen the uh, inner outlines and no wake in a while, and or Willem Dafren. So that'd be my first time seeing them. So yeah, Willem Dafren, dude. Okay, so like I don't. I don't know if you're a big hardcore guy. Um, I like uh, songs about fish piss. So, yeah, I was gonna say, dude, they, they, like, they're dude. It's hardcore, but it's yeah. like I think it's I think it's more melodic. Those guys are a lot of fun. And, they're good and, dudes. And they're and, fun. They're good dudes. Yeah. You know, and and lyrically, like, they're just having fun with the lyrics. They're not taking themselves too seriously, and that's what makes it so much fun. And right. I'm excited to bring them out um, to Diamond with us. Um, the Inner Outlines guys are just awesome. They're just awesome dudes. And I think last time I saw them, they were going, they were actually like walking down to Pappy's to get barbecue. It was at a show at Red Flag and they were going down to get barbecue. So, you know, here we are again. We're serving up barbecue and right. bringing know, the barbecue to them. We're bringing the barbecue to them. Yeah. Good. And then, yeah, the No Wait guys are awesome. Um, they, they had us down to that uh, show in Hannibal a few years back and super hospitable. Um, so I want to return the favor. Um, and take care of them. So and, they're, good and, and then you know we, we got good friends. Um, the that cover band that's playing at the end of the night. The the, the guys that were originally Bad Habit. Um, I don't think they've uh, landed on a, an official final name, but um, yeah, that they're gonna they're gonna kind of bring it on home while everyone's hanging out. And that's what that's the best part is like we don't want to play last, and then everybody's heading for the door. Like as soon as we come off stage, because that, I mean that truthfully, that's what happens. So we wanted to come off stage and be able to kind of hang and kick it with everybody at the barbecue show for a little bit, like a, you know, like a block party or something. Oh. Any cake? Yeah, cake. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. Well, let's uh, let's rage. Let's do it. Let's gonna be doing it at the Rock Paper Podcast Show. <laughs> 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 Oh, we weren't doing that? Yeah. Oh, okay. We were doing it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank yeah, you thanks, guys, man. man. I uh I love you guys. I love you guys and too. And I can't wait to rock with you. And uh but yeah, crank it up loud. The rattler now available everywhere. Follow along without run the fall on your Facebook and Instagram. And where else? <laughs> Oh yeah, there. And you can get it on too. Thanks, Danny. Danny's our. Hey, you can get it on Wolf Radio. Yeah, Danny's our drummer. He named uh, after a drummer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <We're just laughs> <talks. laughs> what are you doing, Danny? All right. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. Appreciate you. And I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah. All right. We'll see you, buddy. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.